all three girls have been really sick. So it's four something in the morning and it's Janae's birthday, but she is super sick. No, I don't like it. Do you want some fruit? Yeah. Some of the bubble fruit? Yeah. But that hurts my tummy. Noodles? No, that hurts my tummy too. Okay. Do you want some banana? No. How about some rice? No. So do you know what's gonna help you feel the best? This medicine right here. I don't want it. Okay, can I check your temperature? No, yeah. It says 101.1. That's not good. Janae, Laura, and Elise all have influenza A. This isn't the first time we've had sickness on a special day. On Laura's second birthday, she woke up sick. And then we had a Christmas one time where several of us were sick. Laura, what is it? My present. Your present. Caleb, what day is today? Laura's birthday. Today is Laura's birthday. And she was up in the nighttime and she has a fever. You guys look awesome. Merry Christmas. Well, Laura just threw up all over the living room and I think that about does us in for the day. We are officially postponing Christmas. So while it is her birthday today, we're not gonna be celebrating her birthday today. We're gonna be recovering from the sickness. We're gonna lay on a couch. Okay. Can I get my blanket my pillow? Yeah, I'll go get a blanket and pillow for you. I'm so grateful that Jeremy is in town and home for this sickness. All three girls have been really sick and it makes it so much easier to manage all the things with both of us here. Sometimes after one of them wants to be held, the other one wants to be held too. Well, this started two days ago. Elise was the first one to get sick. At first it was just a headache and a low grade fever and a sore throat. I wasn't super concerned, but then I started hearing from a bunch of friends that influenza was going around. And I knew that you only have 48 hours to be tested if you wanna be able to get the Tamiflu to help shorten the severity and the length of the sickness. And so we took her to the doctor and sure enough, she tested positive. She had all the symptoms. She was much worse that second day. Then we came home and Laura and Janae have both gotten sick at the same time. They're both not feeling well. Laura was able to get a prescription for Tamiflu already. And Janae, I am taking her to the doctor this morning. She's much younger. And so they just really wanted to see her in person and make sure she's not getting dehydrated and see how the sickness is progressing in her. How'd you sleep last night, my girl? It's not so good. I'm sorry you're not feeling good. Hopefully the medicine keeps helping and you can make it through the day today. The girls all share a room, so it really wasn't a surprise once one of them got sick that they all started getting sick. But the boys are obviously in a different bedroom and we are doing our best to quarantine them and keep them away from the girls. Isaac is banished to this corner to try to keep him healthy. Yep. Isaac is great at trying to wash his hands and being aware of sickness. He takes good care of his body. He's been like hydrating. Very proud of you. Yeah, thanks. What book are you reading? The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. What other book are you reading? I am reading Swindle. I love this author, Gordon Corman. He recently, I've been reading some of his books and they're amazing, I love them. Yeah, so this is Gordon Corman and he's read Restart, Ungifted, and now Swindle. Caleb's in his room, what are you working on? Spanish. So before the girls take their Tamiflu, they need to eat so they don't get all nauseous. You had some? It's so hard when you're sick to eat because you don't feel good, but you need to eat so you have the strength and you don't get sicker. Same thing with drinking. We've been pushing fluids the whole time. Here's our morning medicine board. This is a habit left over from when I was a nurse. I have to keep track of the kids' medicines and the time that I give them and the dose that I'm giving them or else I get all confused, especially when there's four different kids with lots of different medications going on and they all have different doses and timings. You have to write it down or you'll totally forget. When I was at the pharmacy picking up medication yesterday, they also had this sticker face thing that I thought the girls would like. 
So we have friends here that heard we were sick and they just came in, they dropped off a dinner for us for tonight. So we just have it in the fridge and we'll be able to throw it in the oven right before dinner. I just thought that was really nice and thoughtful. I love how the earrings match the eyes. That matches your shirt. My name is Denaya. Can I do this? Can I do want this? Hi, my name is Denaya. Hi. I want this one. It's cool about this paper. Can you rip it out? Sure. With the girls being sick, one of the things we're trying this time around is them listening to books on tape instead of just watching TV the whole time. Elise just finished listening to Charlotte's Web, Laura's listening to Ramona the Pest, and I think it's also easier for them to fall asleep while listening, which when they're sick, we want them to sleep as much as possible. Ooh, is that fun? Are you gonna put them into that little spot? One, two, can you open it? Sure. Are you sharing with me? Thanks. I was cleaning up after dinner the other day and the little jar of Parmesan cheese was empty and I was picking it up to like recycle it and I was like, wait a minute, this looks really fun. So I washed it out and I was gonna let the girls just play in their rice bin with it. But then when I was at CBS picking up medicine, I saw these little pom-poms and I thought that would be super fun. She wanted a blanket around her because she was cold and then she wanted me to hug her while standing up and rock her. Oh, look at that smile. Oh my goodness. Oh, your nose. <laughs> I remember when she was a tiny baby and look how huge she is. Her feet go all the way out here. You, you are so big. So you took her to the doctor today. I did. And they had great news about yes, her growth. She has grown so much this last year. So she is almost up to the 20th percentile in weight and she's at the 25th percentile for height, which we're kind of a small build family, so that's about as much as we can hope for. Well, so, compared to what it was when we great. got her on the feeding tube. He has gained seven pounds this year. Last year, you didn't gain any weight. So that's a big deal. Oh. She's still fun when she's Mommy, sick. Mommy, Daddy has well, been she's here. currently medicated. Yeah. Which, by the way, medication. Thank goodness for medication. Kind of a big deal. Yes. I'm putting dinner in the oven and I'm feeling so grateful to not have to think at all about what to make for dinner and to not have to make a big mess in my already messy house. Anyway, all we have to do is pop it in the oven, heat it up, and then we can enjoy it. Today I wanted to blow some bubbles. Oh, it worked. So one of the funny things about all the kids being sick is I keep thinking I might be getting sick, but you never know if it's just in your head or if you are actually getting sick. I mean, I am tired because we were up all night helping kids, but it's like, is my throat starting to hurt? Am I getting a fever? Last night when Janae first came down with the sickness, she really wasn't being herself. She was just laying sick and it was really scary. I was looking up the statistics on the CDC website and it shows that there's been at least 16,000 deaths already this year from influenza. And so just having that even go through your mind that this is the kind of illness that could lead to the death of a child is pretty hey, terrifying. Hey. Anyway, I'm so grateful that it looks like our kids are doing well and they're recovering and we have medication. We got the Tamiflu as soon as we did. You wanna go on a bike ride? Yeah, I'll go on We kinda have to bike. just stay home. We ate dinner, it was delicious. The kids are watching a show. They're actually watching Imagination Movers. It's a old school Disney show. Isaac actually watched it when he was little, so we're reminiscing over here. But we've got the medication board up for the night. Here's what we need to get done before bedtime. So all through the day we've been washing all of the syringes and cups to put the medicine in, because we're going through a lot of medicine. How are you feeling? Sick. Sorry you're not feeling good, buddy. Which yeah. parts of your body hurt? I like my head and my stomach, and I'm more tired than ever at this time of day. Yeah, I can kind of see it in your eyes. Here's some medicine, some ibuprofen. It won't taste better than my other one. Yeah, your this medicine. one's bubblegum medicine. This is his regular epilepsy medicine. He does not like the taste of that one. That one's amazing. So my kids prefer liquid ibuprofen and I bought two different flavors, bubblegum and grape. 
it's caused quite a discrepancy today because bubblegum is definitely the more popular flavor. This one's your Tamiflu. Done. Do want a drink of water? Maybe some Gatorade? I'm sad she's feeling so sick. I think she might have a rough night. We love you, big girl. Good night. Get your house out. <laughs> <laughs>